morning to each and everyone present here. Honorable Chief Guest, Sister Jessie, our Regional Superior. A warm and pleasant morning to each and everyone present here. Honorable Chief Guest, Sister Jessie, our Regional Superior. Manager Sister Rainey, Principal Sister Jesslyn, Vice Principal Sister Evelyn, Sisters, Teachers and all my dear friends. I am extremely overwhelmed to get this opportunity to speak on this auspicious occasion. We all have assembled here to motivate and cherish the young minds present among us. Apart from it, this is a great occasion to welcome our Chief Guest Sister Jessie, our Regional Superior. I request Sister Manager to honor and welcome Sister Jessie with saplings. Thank you, dear sister. I also request Sister Jessie to offer a lamb in front of her dear mother as the symbol of her life. May Mother Mary be your guide and light to your path. Lord Jesus, you are the light of the world. As Sister offers this lighted lamp, we thank you for the gift of our dear Sister Jessie. Grant her the grace to become true luminaries of heaven through a life of prayer and dedication. Light is the symbol of presence of God's truth, knowledge and understanding. It acts as a guide, keeping us from stumbling in the dark. A lamp or a flame, is illuminated to lead those who are present from darkness to light.
A reading from the Holy Bible. When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up the mountains, and after he sat down. His disciples came to him, then he began to speak, and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be received mercy. Blessed are pure in heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will call children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for there is a kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when people revile you and persecute. You utter all kind of evil against you falsely on my account. Rejoice and be glad, for there your reward is great in heaven. For the same way they persecuted the prophets who were before you. This is the words of the Lord. Prayer dance is known as a powerful statement for celebrating the Father and the love that He has for all of humanity. It is a way of expressing thankfulness by worshipping and celebrating the Lord. It is one of the most beautiful and powerful ways to express yourself. It's the hidden language of our soul. Allow your feet to take you where your heart wants to go. Now I call upon our friends to perform the prayer dance.
dear sister Jessie to encourage our students with their message. Uh, Jessalyn, the principal, sister Evelyn, the vice principal, all the sisters, teachers and my dear students. Good morning to each one of you. Morning sister. Morning, sister. It gives me immense joy to be back here again and to spend some time with you all as I had been part of this school for some time. I avail this opportunity to appreciate the efficient administration of the school, the committed and dedicated teachers and I suppose the hard-working students to bring up this school to what it is today. As I am here, I would like to speak something about self-discipline, which I think is very essential to live as good hum human beings and to contribute to the growth of the society. All success begins with the self-discipline and it starts with you. Self-discipline is nothing but self-consciousness, living in awareness of oneself. Self-discipline is an art and beautiful things can emerge from dirt. Our struggles in life can teach you self-discipline. We have the beautiful example of our Prime Minister Modi ji, whose self-discipline has helped him to become what he is today. Self-discipline is all about having a proper behavior, the capacity to regulate your life, regulate your behavior. Most, some of the most influential people like APJ Abdul Kalam, Sachin Dandulkar, Swami Vivekanand, all were disciplined people. They were disciplined first and successful later. Management of time is part of self-discipline. Setting priorities right is again part of self-discipline. Mr. Amitabh Bachchan is was one of the most punctual and disciplined person of the film industry. So self-discipline is about having proper behavior, having healthy habits, living a life of punctuality. That is all about self-discipline. It is the ability to control your life actions, your feelings, your impulses and your emotions. Self-discipline helps you to overcome or withstand temptations. Your habit of postponing, procrastination, obesity, laziness, addictions. It helps you to overcome overdoing things, over sleeping, over eating, over playing, doing anything in an overly manner. Self-discipline give brings order to your life. It brings joy and fulfillment in life. It help, helps you to persevere in achieving your goals helps you to get motivated towards accomplishing your goal. A 
it is about self control having strong will power and inner strength how to become more disciplined students first of all recover from your mistakes we all make mistakes but do not dwell on your mistakes and get dejected you should have the ability to move from your move on from your mistakes let your mistakes become your disciplinary tool your learning experience secondly remain positive in order to become a disciplined person you should believe in yourself your optimism and positivity will help you to become a disciplined person develop an attitude of i can do that attitude will take you to a long way in becoming a disciplined person thirdly fight unproductive urges or desires for example students who while studying if you have the desire to check a mobile often what should you do you leave your mobile in another room and do your studies likewise you will be able to check the unproductive desires fourthly reward yourself in this case we are all very misers we do not reward ourselves sufficiently for the small improvement you make for every goal that you achieve you need to reward yourself say sabash to yourself that will help you to work harder and to gain greater success so begin with disciplines of small actions which will lead you to larger goals in life so discipline is not natural to any one of us discipline has to be achieved it it needs ongoing practice the so, disciplines we can say are of two types external discipline internal discipline what is external discipline external discipline you are controlled or you are disciplined by an outside force for example discipline in the army an outside force disciplines you or you are told what to do by an outsider but we need more than external discipline internal discipline what is internal discipline you are being disciplined from within motivated from within no one else have to tell you what to do it gives you the opportunities to grow when you are motivated from within for example let us take two friends nikki and tommy nikki is going about are going for games nikki sees that it is getting dark in the evening and he comes back home seeing it is getting dark but tommy waits continues his game mummy calls for few time calls out for him few times and finally he reaches by hope nikki gets up early in the morning without being called by mother and gets ready makes his bed gets ready for school tommy 
Mummy has to wake him up with the scolding, getting angry and calling out for a few times. He gets up. And both are in the school. The teacher gives some homework or assignments and Nikir writes them down in the diary. Tommy thinks that he would remember that assignment or homework. Who is self-disciplined? Who is self-disciplined? Nikki. So will you not like to become one of Nikki? Yes, no? Yes. So self-discipline is something that you cultivate from within. Nobody has to tell you what to do, when to do or how to do. You will do it without being told. It is an ability to do what you should do even if you don't like to do it. That is self-discipline. And the absence of self-discipline we all know. It will lead to failures, disappointments, frustration, relationship problems, health issues. All these are problems created by lack of self-discipline. Self-discipline will help you to find joy and happiness in life. A self-disciplined person will be a happy person. It will build up your character when you are self-disciplined. Help you to live a, an integrated life, well-balanced life, a rejuvenating lifestyle you will have. So I pray that each one of you become self-disciplined persons so that you are able to become what you are capable of becoming and contributing your might to the growth of the society. And that is my prayer and wish for each one of you here. So have a good day. Exams are coming closer. So wish you all, all the best. I will be remembering you all in my prayers. I thank the management for giving me this opportunity to be with you here to talk to you and I'm happy to be here. Thank you all very much. For your inspiring thoughts about discipline, we will try to keep ourselves in discipline. <coughs> Thought for the day, speak the way that everyone likes to listen to you, listen to the way that everyone likes to speak to you. I repeat, speak the way that everyone likes to listen to you. Listen to the way that everyone likes to speak to you. Thank you. Have a nice day. sister really inspired us, all of us. She spoke both the positive and the negative aspect of the discipline. What you will get when you are disciplined. If you are not disciplined, what is going to happen to you? So on behalf of the teachers, students and the management, we thank you sister for inspiring us. And we promise that we will not leave any stone unturned to practice discipline in our life. I hope all of you are going to join with me to promise sister. Yes. yes. And thank you for your concern, for taking extra time and coming and visiting us.
and and we wish you a happy stay with us